fire of hell will be poured. There'll be 70,000 whips around the fire of hell. On each whip, there'll be 70,000 angels. They'll be dragging the hellfire. Why? Because the hellfire will be angry like never before. It's surrounded by four walls. One wall is so thick, they will take a person 40 years just to cover his distance. 40 years. The heat of the fire of hell is such that for a thousand years it was kindled and it turned into the color red. Then it was kindled for another thousand years. Then it changed from the color red or white. Then it was kindled for another thousand years. Then it changed from the color white, black. At this moment of time, the fire of hell is black and Allah will make the moon and the sun into pieces and he will throw it into the fire of hell. And when the fire of hell sees mankind, it will leap towards mankind. It will roar towards mankind. The prophets, the angels, the whole of mankind will fall on their knees to such an extent that Ibrahim alayhi salam, he would say, oh, oh Allah, I am your friend. Show mercy on me. Yet again, the fire of hell will leap and it will leap inside. It will make such a leap that the whole of mankind, they will fall on their knees. Yet again, the fire of hell will leap again. It will leap towards mankind and the whole of the plane of resurrection, the prophets, the angels, they will fall flat on their faces and they'll be looking from the corner of the eye, fearing that the fire of hell might take them. And then Allah the Almighty will say to the fire of hell, speak. And the fire of hell will speak. And the fire of hell will say, I swear there is no God worthy of worship except you, Allah. I, the fire of hell, will take revenge from all those people who you provided for. And when it came to the time of worship, oh Allah, they disobeyed you. I, the fire of hell, will take revenge today. The narration says that a neck will come out from the fire of hell. It will have two eyes. It will have a mouth. And the fire of hell will say, I've been assigned to take three people. The first, the arrogant people. And the fire of hell will pick them out from their lines, just as a bird picks up sesame seed. Yet again, the fire of hell will say, I've been assigned to take out all those people who give trouble to Allah and his messenger. And he will pick them out from their line just as a bird picks up sesame seed. The third, the fire of hell will say, I've been assigned to take out all those people who take, who make pictures for worship. And we'll pick them out from their lines just as a bird picks up sesame seed. Now the judgment stops. Allah will say, bring the animals. Why? Because the first thing to get judged on the plane of resurrection will be the animals. And Allah will say, bring the animals. And when the animals are born, all of the animals, when they see Allah, they will fall flat in sujood. And Allah will say, this is not the time of prostration. This is the day of judgment. And to such an extent that if an ant oppressed another ant, oppressed it, whether he was in the middle of some jungle, under some rock, Allah will make him pay the price of sin on that day. And when this is taking place on the plain of resurrection, Allahu Akbar, what would you see? The people will be getting punished. The people will be getting punished. Some will be drowning up to their ankles, some up to their knees, some up to their waist, some will be drowned in their own sweat. 
Some people, the intoxicants will be around their necks. Some, their tongues will come down towards their waist. Some people will be on the plane of the their private parts will be on their faces and blood and pus will flow from me. Some will be, there will be snakes around their necks. Some will have two tongues. Some will have two physical faces. Some people's bodies will be divided, cut in half. Some people may be made small as ants and people will walk all over them. They'll be cramped, they'll be crying, their tears will run out, blood will be flowing. And then after Allah has dealt with the animals, Allah will deal with the messengers. Starting from the messengers from mankind. Allah will say, bring the preserved tablet and the preserved tablet will be bought. And when the preserved tablet is bought, Allah will say, where is the Zabur? Where is the Torah? Where is the Injil? And where is the Quran? And the preserved tablet will reply and he will say, Jibra'il has copied it from me. Allah will call Jibra'il. And then Jibra'il will be born on the plane of resurrection. Allah will say, the preserved tablet has informed me. Has informed me that you have copied it. Does it speak the truth? Jibra'il will be shaking. And he will say, oh Allah, he speaks the truth. Then Allah will say, tell me, what did you do with these books? And Jibra'il will reply. And he will say, oh Allah, I gave the Zabur to Dawood alayhi salam. I gave the Torah to Musa alayhi salam. I gave the Injil to Isa alayhi salam. And I gave the Quran to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam. Then Allah will say, bring Nuh. And Nuh will be born on the plane of resurrection. He'll be shaking. If this is the state of the prophets, they will be shaking, shivering, scared. What chance do you and I have? Then Allah will say to Nuh, Jibra'il has informed me that you are from amongst the messengers. Does he speak the truth? Nuh alayhi salam will say, Oh Allah, he speaks the truth. Allah will say, what did you do? And the messenger will reply and he will say, Oh Allah, day and night, I called them towards Allah. I called them towards Tawheed. Oh Allah, they ran away. Allah will say, bring the people of Nuh. And then the people of Nuh alayhi salam will and Allah will say to them, The Nuh alayhi salam is claimed that he delivered the message to you. Does he speak the truth? And the whole of mankind, they'll be witnessing this. The people of Nuh will say, oh Allah he speaks a lie. He speaks a lie. My brothers, if this is the state of mankind on that day why is the likes of you then after allah has dealt with the messengers judgment will take place and the people will get judged one by one there'll be two groups on that day the people of the right they will receive the record in their right hand and then they will be the people of the left. Those who will receive the record in the left hand. The people of the right is those people who lived a life of obedience, lived a life worshipping Allah, who lived a life fulfilling the commands of Allah and acting upon the Sunnah. People of the left, they will be the people of the fire of hell. And who are these people? 